What's happening Hardscapers? Today we're going to be testing out our vacuum lifter versus laying by hand. See which one's faster, see which one's more efficient. Let's get into this. So we've already got a video actually talking about different vacuum lifting equipment. This one is specifically a one man lift. It has a back vac with it. This is by a company called Mquip amazing piece of equipment especially when you're laying the right types of materials that this sealer can actually suck onto now i'm doing a lift and relay here so i wanted to compare myself going at this by myself because i'm by myself this week and comparing doing this way with the vacuum lifter versus doing by hand which one's going to be faster and which one's going to be more efficient with this now there could be a problem with me doing this and i'll get into that if it does happen after and to let you know kind of what might be going on here to be causing this but let's get into this test basically what i've done is we've got 16 of these pavers laid out this pattern is a custom pattern built by somebody and it is 16 pavers essentially 16 square feet that we're going to be laying here they're side by side i'm going to clone myself and get the timer up be able to see which one here is faster So what I thought might happen actually happened here. If you were seeing, I was having a lot of difficulty with this paver lifter. And that's because this paver lifter is especially for porous material, meaning a dry cast paver, which is more porous than say a dense natural stone. And that's great because these are dry cast, but these are so weathered and you can see by the surface that they probably have a little bit more porosity to them. The air is sucking right up through them and I'm not getting a good seal on them, especially since this sealer is the exact dimension of one of these pavers. So whenever I'm sucking one of them up, I'm getting the vacuum lifter placed on the face of them. I need to be incredibly accurate to be able to get the perfect seal. And even if I do get the perfect seal, I might even drop it just because it's losing its grip on this. I probably need to also replace the sealer on this, but let's try this again. Just me trying to use the vacuum lifter and see how fast we go there. So as you can see, that one was a little bit better, but what you'll notice is that even by hand, I might be a little bit faster. And what that comes down to essentially is which one is going to be better throughout the day? Which one is gonna make me go home feeling much better? 
and I can honestly say that with the backpack system, I'm gonna feel much better at the end of the day. It's gonna keep me going each and every day. I'm not gonna be going home as tired and my back's not gonna hurt as much. I'm not gonna have to be bending over constantly to fix things. This thing is a back saver, a knee saver, all of the above for me and especially as I get older, but also for my crew once I do get some reliable employees. This is what's going to help me with employee retention, show them that I'm investing into them to keep their knees, their back healthy for the time being and to help them want to be able to do this for a living. So that's where I see the value in this back vac lifter. Probably throughout the day, this is going to save me in efficiency, especially once you get into the larger slabs and having the two man lifter version of this really, really helps. But what this is really gonna help for with this lift and relay is if I have a stone in the middle that I need to pick up in another situation, it will be really difficult to get down in there and be able to lift that stone out and to be able to re-level that area. But with this backpack, I can simply just pick it up. It might take a little bit of wiggling around to be able to get that stone out of there, but it does come up much easier than trying to pry it out with a bunch of screwdrivers and to ruin stones while you're doing that. That's where also this thing really shines above laying by hand. Now, for those of you that don't know this, that need to know this, you should tie a little knot at your connection so that when you go ahead and you get some tension on it, it's not pulling apart the connection, it's pulling at the knot, so that's not gonna come undone if you extend yourself too far. I didn't know this when I started. Uh, construction hardscape company, so I'm sure anybody wanting to start their own business these little tips and tricks go a long way so let me show you kind of how I do this if I watch the screen to do this tie it around connect it so that that's not gonna come undone when there's any tension on it. Let me know if you own one of these. If you use vacuum lifting equipment in your business, especially with placing steps, that's a great thing to be using for. You'd need a higher capacity type one of these to be able to do that, but Mquip has great pieces of equipment for that. They don't pay me to say that or anything like that. They're just great guys and a great business over there for vacuum lifting equipment. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you have a question about anything that I talked about here things that you disagree with agree with me whatever that might be like this video if you found it helpful for whatever reason subscribe to my youtube channel for more content like this thank you so much for watching